Good evening. I'm saying evening. It is uh, it's 9.43 p.m. right now when I'm reading this. It is April 12th, 2018. You're getting the whole thing today, and I've got it down to about 10 minutes and 30 seconds. Yay! Um, I'm not going to post this video until some point Friday because uh, I, it wasn't that long ago that I posted the other video. And we haven't even got any comments on it yet for me to give any shout outs. So, no shout outs today. But maybe with the next video after this one, I will uh, go through and uh, see over the next, over the last few videos and see who deserves shout outs and stuff like that. I believe this is, uh, let me check my information here, get my number correct. This is episode 68. I posted 67 just a few hours ago. Now, I started this cartoon yesterday afternoon no, actually in the evening about seven or eight and uh and what i did was i did this rough and i did, did the lettering everything that you're seeing right now and then i stopped and i put it aside and even put aside the two files that i did to record that part and made their own folder and then i did the other cartoon that's already been published and the videos made with uh paul ryan uh i thought i should get that one out a little bit quicker Usually I like to be the first cartoonist on an issue, uh, or one, one of the first. It's really hard to be the very first. But um, on the Paul Ryan cartoon, I might have been the last cartoonist in the country to do one. And on Mark Zuckerberg testifying to Facebook, I'm, I'm probably one of the, the last to do a cartoon on it. If a cartoonist hasn't done it yet, they're probably not going to do something on it. But I still wanted to do it because I knew most of my clients would like it. A couple of them have already published it actually. And I thought a lot of readers would like it too. So, but, um, so right here, doing the speech balloons and everything, that is where I stopped and put it aside. And I had to get out of the house today. I had, uh, had to go see somebody. And after that, I went to a, uh, a w w did it in public, the rest of it, which meant that I did it pretty quick because, you know, I, didn't really mess around. Uh, there was nothing. Didn't wander around and stuff like that. I was sitting in in a bar and I wasn't drinking or anything because I can't drink when I cartoon stuff like that. Um, but I pretty much whipped it out. I had some food, but it didn't take long, and nobody bothered me. Actually, the place was dead, and kind of came out naturally within um, short, short of two hours, I think. But, but your mat was on. Things are about to get real. All that stuff. Um, with the comic book coming out. That might have to be my next cartoon. Oh, I don't have the idea yet. And I gotta do something for Costa Rica between tonight and tomorrow morning. Oh. So I was really, really digging this with the calculator. And uh, I did something with the calculator that you may not catch, and most people may not catch. And maybe I shouldn't mention it, especially for Ariel, because she likes to catch a lot of things without being told. So, I'm just going to say that with the finished cartoon, look at the calculator and think about what dumb boys, dumb like 12-year-old, 14-year-old boys would do with the calculator. At least back when we were kids. I don't know if kids now I have calculators other than what's on their cell phone. I use a calculator on my cell phone. But... Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, there it is. So, <laughs> no, this is upside down. Yeah. <laughs> actually, while I'm doing this, I'm like thinking of the next cartoon. <laughs> it's hard for me to narrate, but I've actually got these issues in my head. Issues in my head. Uh, this whole Zuckerberg thing I thought was kind of funny. Um. A lot of people, I, I saw him on Facebook, so how well did Zuckerberg do? Oh man, he sucks, he's terrible, blah, 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 blah. And I am not a Mark Zuckerberg fanboy. I'm not in love with the guy. I'm like that. Uh, he's a geek, yeah. Um, but, you know, I don't think he lied about anything. And I don't think he deflected or and crap like that so much. I think the people who were questioning him didn't really know what they were talking about. Most of them. Um... Dick Durbin had the best question about, you know, where did you stay last night? Oh, would you want people to know this information? Who did you message today? You know, you don't want people to know that kind of stuff. And Zuckerberg admitted that, you know, I don't want people to know that. 
but the rest of it was just a bunch of horse shit. John Kennedy from Louisiana has been praised for his questioning, but he gave Zuckerberg this big, long tirade about the user agreement, how they need to make it, they need to simplify it, put it like in English for people to read it. But this is a guy in, in a body where nobody reads their bills that they vote on, that, that makes laws. No, the people there don't read that shit. I had a little hard time drawing the Zucky here. And um, they, they could dumb the whole user agreement down on Facebook. And you wouldn't read it. They could dumb it down where Donald Trump could actually understand it. Maybe. And people wouldn't read it. So I'm still having trouble drawing Zuckerberg. And this one I was really happy with. Being that I was out in public and I didn't have any Wi-Fi at the moment, um, I couldn't look at a photo of the guy. I had my phone, but it just... It was too slow, and I was just a little bit, didn't have the patience for it, so I just went through my head and did it. Um, and I, you know what? I liked the way it turned out. Man, I don't want to pat myself on the back there too much. But anyway, yeah, nobody's going to read the user agreement, no matter what it says. It could, it could be in their user agreement that, you know, you had to cut off your left nut, and people would still be using Facebook. They, they'd be like, what? What? It's where? Um, people don't even read the posts that they comment on. Ever see a post where uh, someone does like a, a, a sarcastic answer and it's already been someone else has already replied that six or seven times? People don't read. They don't read. They, they stop reading to a certain point when they, when they read shit. And I'm guilty of that too at the time. But, and then Ted Cruz decided to make this whole thing about conservatives uh, uh, be, being uh, persecuted on Facebook. How their, their information and their sites are obstructed and blocked. Um, Ted Cruz, uh, in case you didn't know, Facebook was a favorite platform for Russian troll firms. Um, so, and look who that got elected president. And yeah, that did help elect Donald Trump. Trust me, conservative bullshit is not having a hard time getting spread across Facebook. The funny thing was Ted Cruz didn't talk about Cambridge Analytica. Sorry, I feel a little gassy. I just had a cook. Um, that's why I'm talking like, Ugh. Um, but Ted Cruz didn't mention any of that because, you know, I, Ted Cruz, um, paid, uh, Cambridge, uh, over $5 million in 2016 on his presidential campaign. He paid for their bullshit. So he didn't bring them up. And also they're, um, founded by a big, rich Republican donor that's a friend of Ted Cruz. He supported his campaign. Oh. The funny thing is Ted Cruz, probably, his campaign probably didn't really technically, or maybe technically, but he didn't really give the money to Cambridge because the guy who owns Cambridge donated that money to Ted Cruz, his super PAC and stuff. Maybe not even the super PAC. And then somehow it all it goes out to him giving it back to Cambridge because they're greasy, nasty, dirty politicians. But, I mean, if you're mad at Facebook, then get off Foursquare. Foursquare is an app designed to tell people that now is a good time to break into your house because you're not home. Have you ever used Foursquare? I have not. There's this girl I used to see and she'd come to my house all the time. She played Foursquare back and forth with her parents. Apparently, if you go to a place and tag yourself there more than anybody else, you remember that place. She uh, named my house House of Chubbs. Not because anything was impressive about me, but that was my dog's name. And so she was mayor of my house on Foursquare. But every time that she did it, everybody knew that she was at my house that, that knew us or that followed her in Foursquare. And I used to tell her, you shouldn't do that. People know you're not home. It's just, and they know you're not, you're not home, you know, right now. <laughs> or if they want to stalk you, they know where you are, they can stalk you. And at my house. So, but Facebook is pretty much like that. People tag themselves at airports. Now, then you're tagging yourself, hey, I'm out of town. <laughs> Look them at the airport. They tag themselves to places. They, they, you know, they show the food pictures at the restaurant they're in. And these same idiots are complaining about their privacy being violated. Yeah, Facebook has a lot of problems. And I get mad at Facebook about dumb junk too. But at the same time, I realize that I am using Facebook for free, basically. That And it's not my platform. I don't own Facebook. You might think that you own your profile page, but you don't. And the thing, other thing is, is that you are not a customer to Facebook. Because you don't pay to you. You're a customer when you when you buy stuff, like if you boost a post. So I have been a customer here and there, which that shit fails. It's not worth it unless you spend thousands of dollars on it. But you are 
the product of Facebook. Because Facebook uses you to make money. People advertise on Facebook because you are there. You are the product. All right, we're done with that little lecture. Because the cartoon is done. Please click like. Give it the thumbs up. And, um, and share this with people. Real people. Share it on Facebook. If you're going to bitch about Facebook, people do it on Facebook. In case you have you noticed that. Anyway, thanks for coming by. Thanks for hanging out. And I will see you later. And goodbye.